centuries in the five frames he's won. He's made the four highest breaks of the group so far. So settle back and enjoy. Could be a few fireworks here. Trump was very impressive, just looked really confident and uh, could not have asked for a better start. Not just the score lines, just how well he played. A string of breaks from him. Wilson very close to getting in, very close to going in off. But he's left one on. Of course, these two have played in a World Championship semi final back in 2019. Trump, the winner then, went on to win the title. That was a three day match. It's uh, a lot shorter, of course, best of five. Surely Trump can't sustain the form he showed in the first two matches. He was outstanding. One. And that was outstanding as well, the, the perfect positional cannon. It's been a while, hasn't it, since the second match. Finished about quarter past 12, so just over four hours ago. But it's been a good sign from him. You know, he's really hit the ground running Eight. in this new year, 2023. At breaks of 52, 108, 71, 80, 66 and 67. And Nine. the 66, of course, was that great clearance against Selby in frame two to win on the black. So in all areas particularly in terms of the scoring he's been excellent and he's looked confident of course he's looking for confidence this season he's yet to win a title but there's plenty of big ones still to play for Sixteen. Seventeen. the back of the pack is rather flat which isn't all that appealing. But skimming off them, he's got the job done. And he was helped there by the fact he did have a, a red in bulk. So he knew if he went up there, more than likely he'd be on that. Well, he's got the balls open, hasn't he? It's another winning chance this it's like he's never been away I was mentioned it'd be four hours but it may as well be four minutes but he's got to keep focused because one slip up he knows Wilson scoring heavily he's made four of the six centuries we've seen today thirty. Thirty-one. Well, that's the easiest Trump, and most 31. galling ball that we've seen Trump miss today. Routine black off its spot. I'm sure Wilson can't quite believe his good fortune to get back to the table so soon. One. Referee John Pellew, well positioned to see whether. Wilson's clothing was touching a red, which, of course, it was not. Eight. Nine. I don't want to make too many predictions about this match, Dave, because it's almost impossible to do so with any kind of authority. The only one I will make... I cannot imagine it will be slow. No, it's going to be an open match, of course. Trump's 14. had his chance. It may be the only chance he has. 
Bearing in mind the way Wilson's played four centuries, took him to 200 50. for his career, a little milestone. 41st player to have made that many. Of course, he's full of confidence, having won the Scottish Open, his first ranking title. He first turned pro 2004. Hasn't been on the tour every year since then, by any means, but it had been a long time coming, 18 years, and uh, thoroughly deserved his victory 20. in Edinburgh a couple of months ago. 23. Well, in fact, it, it was one month ago. Time flies in the snooker world. Yeah, he was so disillusioned with 30. the game at one point, he became a taxi driver. But when Barry Hearn got back involved and the circuit expanded 31. and became more prosperous... Wilson thought, I'll give this a go again. And that decision has been well and truly vindicated. Thirty-six. So he's in front in the frame. Thirty-seven. Again, just mindful of that pink. There's John Pelu just keeping watch. Ah, well, it made a, little, a slight difference. It was a little awkward, and Guy still Wilson. you expect him 42. to pop that, but walks back to his seat just 11 in front. Yeah, it looked awkward there, didn't he? I think he was slightly out of alignment. That's why the red did not find the target. Right. Yes. So two Red balls missed eight. in a single frame. The the magic of the first session temporarily deserting Trump. One. Two reds left, Four. and with only a seven point difference, Wilson will need both of them. Five. Yeah, it's always going to be hard for Trump 12. to keep up the level that he displayed earlier on. It's just a question of how far below that level is he going to play. If it's too far below, then he's in trouble against a player like Wilson. Two misses from Trump. And Gary Wilson. 13. Certainly now favourite for this frame. 16 in front, 23 with this black. So he needs yellow and green. Twenty. Twenty-two. <coughs> Twenty-five. <coughs> 
Both errors from Trump 29. punished. And the three-time Championship League winner has lost his first frame 34. of the day. Gary Wilson, 34. Frame can see there. From frame. Trump mistakes. Gary Wilson. Gary Wilson made breaks of 42, then a decisive 34. He has made the start he wanted. Trump, well, suddenly there's a few errors in there. It is 1 0 Wilson. From flawless to fickle. That's the Judd Trump progression so far today. Hardly put a foot wrong in the first couple of matches he played in the first Perfect session. Kill. There, black off its spot, Gary then a red went astray, and Wilson stepped in. One thing that is similar to the way we started out this morning, table one is significantly outpacing. Table two, Rob Milkins and John Higgins yet to complete their first frame. Sometimes when you hit the heights and you're in the mythical zone, as Trump was, no doubt, in the first two matches, when you start to miss a few, it can be quite a tough process. Kibble held its line pretty well. Overall conditions have been very good here. Of course, we're in a new part of the building. This didn't exist when we were here in the summer for the ranking event version of the Championship League. It's a new facility as part of the Morningside Arena. I know it looks the same, <laughs> the arena, but it's a slightly different part of the building. Very nice it looks as well. the shootout will be coming here in a few weeks time One of the, uh, most enjoyable four days of the whole snooker year all the all the snooker fans maybe not always for the players <laughs> it's a very cutthroat format of course just 10 minutes Two players in this group will go head to head in the first round of the shootout. Gary Wilson against Ricky Walden. Well, what a thing to happen. Foul. The pink to go in. Six. Judd Trump. 
Yeah, at least the cue ball cooperated. He missed this red by quite some way. It doesn't look fatal, I know, but those six points, they may make a difference later, we just don't know. It may make the difference between Trump needing to pot a, a tough black or not, etc, etc. But anyway, no real damage done. On table two, both players had chances. It was Rob Milkins who drew first blood against John Higgins to lead 1-0. One of the keys to his success this morning, he was keeping really still on shots, was Judd Trump. Good opening red, and he would be delighted to see the cue ball just skirt past the green to leave it onto the middle. Four. The big problem for Trump here, well, twin problems. The unavailability of pink and black. Five. <coughs> yeah, and the, the red in the way from the blue to even go into that cluster and disturb them and get the black out. Eight. Nine. Yeah, this is the one. If he gets rid of this red, then it does open things up a bit more. Eleven. It was a small Twelve. gap to try and thread the cue ball through. And if he takes on the blue, this is a very big shot. Is it advisable? It was. Seventeen. Eighteen. Trump has one more match left today over on table two to finish up against Matthew Selt. If he could win this match and beat Selt, he would be in the playoffs with, I suppose, a day to spare. Twenty eight. Twenty-nine. Extreme side to swing the cue ball away from the red and pink together. Well, that's the shot he's been Good waiting to play for a while, but he didn't pop the blue. Looking to get everything into play, didn't pop the blue. 
but he did open the black. So facilitated something sizable perhaps for Gary Wilson. Thought the lower of the two reds together just to the right of the pink went. It did not, and so that was a, a tough opener. I think Trump could have expected to leave a much easier pot than he did. It's a different sort of frame. It's become a bit more tactical now, or it has for the moment anyway. Progress-wise, the two matches are about on a par now because on table two, Rob Milkins opened the scoring in the second frame with a break of 43. It looked like he was going to win it at that visit. And then, would you believe he missed a straightforward red to top left-hand pocket? I think from Wilson's reaction, the, the red might have just moved up the table a little there, rather than come down with a nap. One. Now to compound Wilson's angst, Trump does that. I think the same thing almost happened to Trump's red. It went the way of Wilson's. Yeah, Wilson was annoyed, although he must have played the cannon to the black initially Seven. to be on the pink, which didn't actually come off. But what uh, did happen, of course, is he left the red to middle. So Trump's got a good lead already here as he attempts to level the match. Ten. You can't play your best all the time. He did this morning in that blitz of just over an hour. In fact, it was just under an hour, it's 59 minutes, but what you need to do, of course, is find a level below that that can still bring you success. Mark Allen has done that to great effect this season. He's won a couple of tournaments, been in another final, semi-finals, but it's not all been eye-catching stuff. Some of it's been just sort of down in the weeds and finding ways to win. 15. And Trump can certainly do that as well, and he's looking certainly the heavy favourite now for this frame. This is what I was saying about those six points right at the start. You know, with awkward reds, actually they've helped here 22. in a very small way. But it means that this red is frame ball. With the colour. 30. Thirty-one. Thirty-eight. 
39. Forty-six. Judge Trump, forty-six. Frame can see that. Frame, Judge Trump. The scoring fireworks from this morning are so far absent for Judge Trump. Nevertheless, he dominates, controls the second frame. He equalises with Gary Wilson at one-one. Before Judd Trump, Gary Wilson resumes all square. Look at Rob Milkins. 18. That was frame ball. Looks like he's going to take a 2 0 lead over John Higgins. The crux of this frame Higgins was clearing up from 40 on behind, but he missed the penultimate red across the top cushion. And Milkins stepped in. Immediate chance then for Gary Wilson, first shot, frame three. Dispatched with great aplomb. One. He will. It's kept running though, hasn't it? Great pot. He's white though, he's finished rather close to this side cushion. Yeah, the problem with that was it made the pot a little more difficult. But it also Three. constricted what Wilson could do with the cue ball. So he's left a middle distance pot here that could possibly rattle. Clean. Four. Yeah, he's always been a sort of confident character in himself, Wilson, in terms of the, the sort of energy he creates in the arena. And now, of course, he's got every right to be because he's just won a tournament. It's a tough draw he had. But now that he's won that, he knows he can do it. Everyone else knows he can do it. It makes him dangerous, I think, for the rest of the season. He's going to be in some big tournaments as well in the rest of the campaign, so we'll see plenty of him. But that is a disappointing Gary miss. Wilson, four. One. He's such a good potter and into the middles can be dynamite. Can't tell you how cute this angle Eight. is. Hardly anything to aim for. Nine.
16. Seventeen. Well, when Wilson missed, it didn't look particularly fatal, but Trump potted that great red to the middle, and now you're concerned for Gary Wilson. Trump, though, so far in this match, hasn't been as impressive as the first two. It would have been hard to be. 24. Win frame two, but can he find his scoring boots again? Twenty-five. There again, just overran that cue ball slightly. Well, he may have to be a plant here to continue, unless he's looking at this red 32. by the blue. Looking at the plant, he's got to make it. Of course. Thirty-three. A much better shot than it might have appeared. Yeah, the only bad news is he's tied the black up now, but even so, he, the break continues. Well, it did until he missed that. So Trump. Not on it to the extent, clearly, that he was earlier on today. Judge Trump, 33. Good plant to continue, then misses the green. Yeah, he's missed more balls already in this match than he did in two matches earlier on. 1. Well, this should get a few more into play. Seven. If Ricky Walden and Mark Selby are watching this, they must be thinking, why didn't Trump make these mistakes against me? Yes, of course. Primarily, your own form is what you live and die by. But it also helps if your opponent starts to miss a few. Thirteen. Fourteen. Ideally, would have liked the cue ball to travel slightly more than it did there. <laughs> but the red on the right hand side of the three will pot. Twenty. Now the red next to the green will pot also. Twenty seven. Similar to the last frame, really, where it was level pegging up until about this point. 28. It 
still a little bit of work to do, the red by the black in particular. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Well, surely played a cannon the red rather than the black. The good idea because he obviously needed to get it into play. So it's up behind the black. Six points the lead. Gary Wilson, 35. pretty basic but the most important thing for Trump was to hit the red on the correct side as far as he was concerned and he did that said Wilson still very much in charge of the exchanges and should have been more in charge Over on table two, I can tell you John Higgins just about to pull a frame back against Rob Milkins. Scott on a break of 70 and counting. Just think Higgins brings such class to any event he plays in. Great having him here in this group. Meanwhile, what a pot from Judd Trump. Wow. Oh. <laughs> That's an absolute belter. Need some sort of miracle shot as well, though, to get on this red. Well, he's done so well. The way he's played that, can he possibly third all the red end? Hey. Doesn't look as though he can. Yeah, I mean, he's looking to get right behind it, isn't he? To pot, to pot it to this middle. But he's still done it. Brilliant. Well, Nine. brilliant stuff from Trump. I mean, the frame looks set to be quite tactical and cagey, and he's potted a wonder red, and everything has changed. Yeah, would love the green to be on its own spot, of course. 14. Sixteen. He's produced the clearance of the day, and now he's produced the pot of the day. There was value in it as well, because he screwed the white back for safety. 19. But also he was on the black if, he, if the red goes in. So it wasn't reckless or wild by any means. It was well thought out. Brown and blue for a 2-1 lead. 23. 28. So many aspects to playing snooker at the highest level. The biggest asset, though, is being able to pot balls. Judd and Trump. Judd Trump did that spectacularly when the frame was on the line. And from 1-0 down, he now leads Gary Wilson by two frames to one.
sometimes all you can say is what a pot look at that from Judd Trump and the black was also outstanding okay. had very Thank little you. room the for manoeuvre had to miss the yellow and when he put the cue ball it was about the only spot where he could try and nudge that red in with any degree of confidence it's amazing how that frame ended in the way as I say it looks set for another sort of 10-15 minutes of battle but Trump just completely kicked the door in with the red and uh, just shows you even though he'd made a few errors prior to that you know what he's capable of a great shot maker clearly and there's another terrific pot one amazing though these days how many balls you see potted off the break off seems every frame there's something to go at this is why I mean Mark Williams got stick for rolling into the pack the way he did but it kind of makes sense really it, what surprised me though the one event he didn't do it in was the shootout where you're only going to get one break off in that final against Vafai and of course he left a long red on Vafai made a winning break that was it yeah my thoughts on the Williams break off I think you're quite right it was logical, it made sense, all that kind of stuff. I think if everyone adopted it, the game would be worse off. But I couldn't criticise Mark for doing it... Seven. ...when he did. No, that's right. And also, of course, it achieved the main aim, which is it got everyone talking, which is what, exactly what he wanted. <laughs> Created hey. a bit of mayhem and anarchy along the way. Stir things up. Yeah, stirring things up on the other table, John Higgins eventually made an 85 break to win the third frame against Rob Milkins. That's his 13. highest break of the day, Higgins. 14. Trump has been much more fluent, much more prolific when it comes to scoring. Nineteen. Pink and black tied up at the moment, but Trump 20. is uh, probably the best there is now at getting everything open. Q power he has. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Just manufactured an angle there to flick the red away. Look, it's early in this frame. He's only on 33, but if he wins this 3-1 already, 33. you would find it very difficult to think he wouldn't be in the playoffs. 34. He's not mathematically there yet with a win, but he's zooming towards them. Yeah, and he gave himself latitude winning the first two, three nil. He could afford to lose a couple. So 41. he's not coming into every match to having to win. He wants to win them all, of course. But, you know, he did a lot of the, the hard work, the good work early on today. 42. So then, something's got to give here. Very good. You know, in all four groups in this Bed Victor Championship League 49. so far, there's not been a very high success rate <coughs> going into the bunch off the top cushion first in potting the black. But Trump does have a red. Fifty. And now he has a real tester.
Well, you mentioned earlier, Phil, he'd been to Paris over the festive period, and he say today he's given us an eyeful. He's been very entertaining. 58. That wasn't one of your best, Dave, was it really? I mean, you give me enough sticks, so I think I'll just give you back one on one occasion. The good news is I won't be here tomorrow. On one occasion, he did take the cue ball off a cushion and it bent around. And he went on to win the frame. I suppose you could say that was the Arc de Triomphe. 62. That's better, Dave. Admit it. Like I say, I won't be here tomorrow. Anyway, Trump needs this black and it should be victory for him. It hasn't been quite the flawless display, but it's still been really good, particularly since he unlocked that last frame. And this has been an excellent effort 69. as well. A single visit to wrap up a third win in a row. 70. He might say otherwise. 77. It might be the case otherwise, but I just get the feeling he's been putting the hours in. Looks so good. 77. He missed a couple of balls early on in frame much. one that he should have potted. But thereafter, Judd Trump looked mighty good. A 77 break to finish off.